Hey everyone, this is Sheena with Cricut Calligraphy and today I'm going to show you how to create some pretty intricate, complicated, beautiful looking floral embellishments, but they're really actually made out of three really simple, easy shapes. So let's get into it. Okay, the three fundamental shapes we're going to use to build these intricate flowers and vines are a teardrop, an S-curve, and a dot. I'm using just a micron number three pen to do this, but really you could use any ballpoint pen, pencil, even a calligraphy nib, whatever you got. Um, so the three shapes are a teardrop. So, basically this shape. All right, um, an S-curve. So an S-curve is just a smoothly curving line. You can kind of see if you turned it this way, it kind of looks like an S. I mean, it doesn't have to perfectly follow the curves or even the direction of an S. It's just to give you an idea of the kind of character that this line should have. Okay, and then number three is like, I mean, it's so simple that it's hardly even a shape, but it's just a dot. <laughs> but we're gonna use it, so I'm throwing it in there. All right, so those are the three shapes, and you can kind of practice those until you get comfortable with them, like the teardrop, for example. Maybe draw this way, draw this way. Try drawing it in all different directions. You don't have to be an expert. They don't have to be perfect. Um, if you don't like drawing it in a certain way, you can always turn your page and draw it the way that feels comfortable to you. Same thing with an S shape. Just kind of try different directions. All right, the dot, we don't really need to practice. <laughs> the dot's just a dot. But those are your three fundamental shapes. And next we're going to look at how to put them together. All right. So we've got our three shapes here. So the first thing you can do with this teardrop shape is make little flowers out of it. And you can make, this will take a little bit of practice, but you can make either three petaled flowers. You can do four petaled flowers and notice they're not exactly the same shape. I'm not doing the teardrop exactly right, but that's kind of the beauty of it. It's supposed to be an organic, natural, floral thing, right? So it doesn't have to be perfect um, and machine made every single time. Okay, and then you can do a five petaled flower, which this takes a little bit more practice, sort of filling it in so that it's sort of even and all the petals fit, but you can use any of those three. And then you can also, this teardrop shape can not only be the petal of a flower, it can be a leaf. So you can do an S curve with a leaf on the end or two leaves on the end. And you can build off of it with another S curve and a leaf, or you can do a leaf directly off of it off of the vine here and you see you start to get sort of this vine kind of look with leaves coming off it and you can kind of build as much as you want All right and then with the dot you can either just kind of scatter dots around your piece as you'll see or you can make a little triad there and that I don't know represents berries or something it looks good once you put it in there <laughs> or you can put a dot on the end of an s-curve so you can see with these just three very simple shapes you can build all sorts of cool little pieces okay so now we're gonna take 
all of these individual pieces we've created and sort of build them up into a nice little floral accent. So I like to start with an S curve, it can be a really gentle one. And then I like to place my bigger flowers first I'm going to do that. And then one sort of thing, extra thing you can do is you can sort of fill in the build up the center here with another dot and that makes it look a little bit more like a daisy or you can leave it blank. Okay, so I've put a four petaled one here and see it's the same shapes, but it looks a little bit different, just enough difference from the five petaled one to give some visual interest. All right, so now that I've got some kind of fundamental flowers in there, I just build. And you want to just kind of keep filling in and you want all your S curves to kind of flow in the same direction. So notice I'm not, none of them are coming off kind of like this, right? That kind of looks like odd. It doesn't look like a flower would naturally grow, right? Plants tend to grow sort of in one direction with all the pieces flowing off maybe towards the sun. This doesn't look quite right, right? So, but other than that, we're just gonna kind of ignore that there. You really can, I mean, it's a really forgiving process. I'm going to bring a little S curve off here and maybe throw in another little flower there, throw in some leaves. And at this point, it actually looks okay, but I find that you can actually keep building and it just kind of looks more and more full and elegant. I'm going to ignore this guy over here. Maybe put another leaf. And we're going to put, add this guy, remember the S curve with the dot at the end, and that just adds a little something extra. All right, and not everything has to necessarily connect in with a vine. It's sort of an abstract piece. The more, you know, sort of as you fill things in, they will all kind of look harmonious and like they do belong there, even if they're not physically connected. So don't worry too much about that. All right. And you can see how I could sort of keep going and keep going and kind of even extend it further off the page. And really take it as far, make it sort of as filled in as I want until it looks right. So that's my simple process for creating some pretty intricate complicated looking florals, but really you've created them out of these three basic pieces. So I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Mm -hmm.